Hi, my Tubies. As you know, I am doing a series on the most popular questions about narcissists. The next question is, can narcissists ever change? Series seven. There's only eight series in this. Let me fix this a bit. Anyway, the reason why a narcissist would change would only be if their needs changed. If they no longer had a need to protect their wounded selves, their feelings of worthlessness, their incessant desire to feel lovable at any cost, even then to make a change, that's going to take a very long time for a narcissist, even for a narcissist who may be the most dedicated, the most motivated person alive. I don't think they will change unless something happens to force. Let me put emphasis on that word to force them to change. Personally, me, I think as they get older and as they age, they get worse. To even begin the process of changing, narcissists first, they have to change their ways of looking at not just themselves, but they also have, they also have to change the way that they look at the world around them. But you and I know, because of their fragile egos, that makes it difficult for them to admit they have a problem or that they are at fault for any of the things that go wrong in their life or anything that goes wrong, period. And another thing why I'm reluctant to say that a narcissist can change, how on earth can you teach someone empathy? Now, empathy affects every area of our lives. When someone is hurting, a narcissist doesn't feel it. When someone gets sick or even die, they can even joke and laugh about it. They're not capable of putting themselves in someone else's shoes or putting themselves in someone else's place. Actually, they're really happy and they can be really joyful when they hear bad news about other people. The thing with narcissists is if it's not physically hurting them, they can't feel it. So like I said, how can you teach someone empathy? I don't know. You leave your comments and if you, I, I don't know, maybe you can help me understand that. Also, when it comes to trying to help them problem solve. Now, I know you have dealt with them when it comes to prob problems in the relationship. You know how they solve problems because uh, you try to show them another way, but their idea of problem solving is limited to what? Either they walk away or they have rage, rage. Now, how can you teach someone who don't want to be taught? Now, studies have been done. Research, it indicates that narcissists, they rarely go into treatment. Instead, you think about their, their, their husband, their wife, their spouse, pretty much, their significant other, their children, and parents of these people. They are the ones who suffer. So they're the ones who seek this therapy. Narcissists are not the ones who typically seek out any help. Sometimes in life, tubies, teletubbies, we just have to accept the fact that the only person we can really change is ourselves. Now think about how hard it is to change yourself. I know sometimes there's things that I want to change about myself and it, it, it takes work. It takes dedication. It takes work. Now think about how hard it is to change yourself and then you'll understand the little bitty chance or the little chance that you'll have in trying to help uh, or get a narcissist to change. When you think about schizophrenia and bipolar, these, disorder, or these disorders, they can be treated, but they can never be cured. I think that is the same thing that applies to narcissists. They can't be cured. That's a mental disorder, something that happened to them in their childhood that they couldn't seem to get past like all the rest of us mentally healthy people. No, they got stuck and couldn't get past it, you know? I strongly believe, but, you know, with all that being said and done, I think, and I believe kind of strongly, that anyone can change if they want to. But that's the problem with the narcissist. They don't want to. Remember, <laughs> when it comes to narcissists, nothing is ever their fault. It's never their fault. You can't change what you won't acknowledge. Anyway, you can learn 
More about this from psychcentral.com and fairytaleshadows.com. As you know, I do the research, I do the reading. I always check out more than one source to make sure that what I'm saying is correct to you. My tubies, I love you very much. And please always keep in mind that you always have a choice. So please choose wisely. Until next time, we'll talk again. Bye for now.